What's going on, my little piglets? It's your BFF Porch Shop here, and I'm coming at you with another entry of the June Vlog Challenge. This is entry number eight. Kind of flying solo on this one. The wife is in the background, but hi guys. She is so sleepy that she rubbed her eyes, and she looks like a raccoon <laughs> panda hybrid at a water park. So she was like, I told her not to be in it because you know she has a, a reputation to uphold. Um, even though she says she's like hot, hot garbage the past few times she's been in it, but actually I looked nice yesterday, but it was so far away that you couldn't tell. So, <laughs> so you're just gonna, you're just gonna get me in the array of plants that my wife has going on that she's, you know, her green thumb is is a another little. What are you doing? <laughs> they can't see you, but it's really cute. Uh, her green thumb is another notch in her belt pretty much of the uh, countless amazing things that my wife is capable of being. And uh, definitely a gardener might be up there. Um, I wouldn't say that, I'm learning. I think our morning glories are, are, are growing. There's at least one climbing. To the point where I can't mow over it. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so you just get just a line of weeds going across our chain link fence. Uh, but so yeah, that's why you're going to get me, but you got her in the background. So, uh, uh, nothing really to talk about today, except, uh, kind of like a heartwarming story that happened to me at work today. Um, I unfortunately had somebody that I used to work with at Pizza Planet, uh, pass away, uh, last Thursday. And I read about it when I went to bed, I woke up forgot all about it and reread it again and it, it just it, it broke me very sudden he was only 39 years old uh so uh his uh service was yesterday um it was yesterday wasn't it uh-huh and uh it was very eerie but it was very heartwarming because the current pizza planet employees all went it looks like uh, for the most part a big 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 portion of them went um and they had a dinner afterwards um and they uh only had a half day of opening the restaurant they didn't open the restaurant until about five so uh, they did it in honor of him but today um i saw the last name on the card and i put two and two together that this this uh, arrangement's going to go to his parents place so i get there the parents aren't there but they have a ring doorbell so uh because of the future we can communicate through a doorbell if you would have told me that that was a thing 15 years ago i would have told you what are you smoking and never buy it again uh because communicating through a doorbell what are we the jetsons so She's like, just hold on one moment, and then I'll, I'll I'll be there uh, if you don't mind waiting. I'm like, oh, you guys are the last on my stops of this round, so I can wait for a bit. So not even two minutes later, uh, his dad comes around the corner, and uh, I ask him, I was like, if you don't mind me asking, were you David's parents? Mm -hmm. Or are you David's parents? I didn't say were. I said, are you David's parents? Because even though he's gone, they're, they're still his parents. Hey. Jackass. I'm trying to be touching here, and then you're loud for no reason. Um, just like, I'm still my dad's son. Jocelyn's still your mom's daughter. You, that never goes away, but, um, so he kind of, he kind of tilted his head, and he's like, yeah? And I said, I knew David, I uh, worked with him, and he was like, really? Like, he kind of lit up a little bit, kind of like a little Christmas tree. And he's like, oh, that's great. Where did you work with him? I was like, well, I worked with him at Pizza Planet off and on for a few years and uh, had the privilege of knowing him, had the privilege of getting to know him and goofing around with him and telling jokes and, uh, you know, a hell of a singer. The guy could, God, the guy can belt it out. Play guitar. She came up with his little action figures like he was a five-year-old. Like, hey, look at this. I got a Leonardo action figure. You know, he was a great guy. Uh, dark humor was 
amazing. <laughs> so if, if, if my, my nephew Lawton had the dark humor and could sing and play guitar, that's pretty much what I, and, ha, and had a little bit of a potty mouth. That's kind of how I saw him. But, and so then the white, his mom is at the front door and he's calling her over. And then she kind of like comes by like, oh God, there's something wrong. Um, so he just points at me, says he knew David and she lit up. <laughs> so I got to see two lights, you know, probably been dark for a few days, uh, since Thursday anyway, um, light up a bit. And of course she's like, oh, how did you know him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your name? And I said, uh. The name's Colin. And she said, oh, yeah, I've heard about you. <laughs> I said, uh-oh. <laughs> but she just smiled. So I assume it was all good things. Hopefully it was all good things. So the conversations Dave and I had were kind of like, you know, maybe, you know, after dark specials, you know, stuff. So. <laughs> so the funny part of that story that I'm not sure he even knows is that that arrangement was actually supposed to be delivered yesterday oh the driver took it but the family wasn't home probably because they were gathering for the service it was plenty of time after the service right. but it's really hard to catch families the day of the service mm -hmm. um and we didn't have a phone number for them we only had a phone number for the sender so she called the sender she asked them what she wanted her to do and she said, well, I guess just try to deliver it tomorrow. I wasn't sure when the service was. So, Colin was not originally taking that arrangement. Our other driver had taken it. Mm -hmm. And so, it was just kind of, it was a God thing. It was, because I, unfortunately, well, because I did feel a little guilty because even she asked me, my wife asked me, do you want to go to the service? And I said straight up, no, I don't want to go. But after the fact, I was like, man, I should have gone, you know? And so maybe this was like my little web redemption, you know, to uh, see his parents. Uh, I met them, I think, on one other occasion, but it was like right when I started working at Pizza Planet. So they probably wouldn't know me from Adam uh, or a hole in the ground or a hole in the ground named Adam, uh, regardless. And so it was nice to, you know, to reassure them, like, she she gave me a hug twice. He gave me a hug. And uh, I just said, I just wanted to let y'all know that you guys, you guys raised a great guy. He was, he was a fantastic individual. And, uh, he liked to tell jokes. And his mom's like, oh, yeah, he liked to tell jokes. <laughs> so, it was just... Yeah, I didn't mean for this to kind of be like a somber type of thing, but it was just something I've been kind of sitting on since Thursday. And every single time I saw his name with another arrangement, with another plant, with another this, uh, people on Facebook posting about him, and his wife posting the obituary on her Facebook, and it was just... It, it, it kind of gave me a little PTSD when my dad passed away. Um... And, uh, I slowly starting, I'm slowly starting to realize that even though I don't show it with my maturity, I'm getting old and people and things around me are starting to, to go their own way, you know, death or otherwise. So it's very sombering to me, but I mean, I'm still, you know probably gonna take it to the grave with me i'm still a pain in the ass you can ask my wife i'm still a smart ass you can ask my wife yep um anything under the sun that describes me it's probably gonna be you know taken to the grave with me um if i decide not to get cremated which i think i still want to get cremated but anyway <laughs> regardless all right guys that's all i really had for today um it's just something like i said that's been heavy on my heart for the past few days and I just had to get that off. So maybe tomorrow will be a little bit better. You'll get to see my wife tomorrow. You'll get to see me tomorrow. And it'll be the last uh, night 
uh, in Amarillo for a little bit because we're leaving um, we're leaving Thursday to go on vacation. Um, so that'll be posted sometime on Thursday. I don't know exactly what time I'll be posting on Thursday, but it'll be up on Thursday, obviously. Whether it be before we leave or at the hotel, I'll probably film it at the hotel. Just pray to God I get it up before midnight, central time. But anyway, guys, thank y'all so much once again for dropping by. Thank you for being, excuse me, thank you for being patient with me. And thank you for letting me kind of play the world's smallest violin for a hot minute. So anyway, guys, always remember my little pig. Let's call him Pork Chop. Loves y'all the most. So y'all take it easy, guys, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>